Hey, hey, NBA 2K, my GM fans. Coach 2K back with another NBA 2K, my GM tips and tricks video. In this video, we're going to talk about the my GM governor profile screen and why you might want to pay attention to it instead of just picking your team and going right into your my GM file. So we're going to talk about how this my GM governor profile screen works and uh, some things you might want to take away from it because the idea behind it is once you're the GM of your team uh, you're going to want to work with your governor and align your decisions with what the governor is looking for. That's part of the idea behind the my GM files. If you're new to the channel be sure and check out my uh, my league expansion series with the fictional Cincinnati Lions. We've got 55 episodes over there. It's been a lot of fun putting that together and we're still doing it. Uh, shout out to the guy who commented that he spent the last two weeks watching every single episode. That's fantastic. I love to hear it. If only we had 999,999 more fans just like you, that would be awesome. But I appreciate everybody's viewership and support of the channel. Let me know in the comments if you got any questions, and you know, I'll do the best I can to help you out. So uh, let's start looking through this profile screen. You can see there's a paragraph right under the governor's name. kind of gives you a description of what the governor's like. And that's a summary of the of the governor preferences down below with these star ratings. So you'll want to read that and get an idea of what kind of governor you're dealing with, what's important to them, and uh, that way when you're when you know when you're the GM, you'll have a better idea of what to expect from your governor. So um, after that, then let's go through these preferences. The first one is importance of money. You can see he's got a five star rating, and so that means. You know, money's pretty important to him. So the financial part of the franchise is going to be a big focus of this particular governor. So you're going to want to make sure you're making a profit. So if you're losing money, paying the luxury tax, you know, then this governor's probably not going to be that happy with you. And, you know, you might risk losing your job as the GM. So pay attention to the finances. Pay attention to the salary cap, the luxury tax uh, threshold. Uh, you know, here the spurs are in great shape. A guy who cares about money is going to like this position as opposed to somebody who's over the cap paying the luxury tax. So uh, that's the importance of money preference. Now the next one is importance of team success. Five-star rating means it's really important to this guy. He wants to see the team win on the court. So you know if it's a one-star, then he wouldn't be as concerned about wins and losses. So a five-star rating or, you know, three, four, five-star rating, he's going to be concerned about you getting wins on the court. So Jazz here would make a governor like that very happy. So keep that in mind, a guy that, you know, wants to win, you're going to need to try and put a winning product on the court. Next one is importance of team image. So you can see here this governor, that's a five-star rating for him. So he cares what people think. And, uh, you know, if he's a one-star, then obviously he wouldn't care as much. But in this case, Bernard Patton wants uh, the team image to be positive. So what you say in press conferences, you know, how the team performs, all that stuff's going to go into public opinion and fan interest. You can see here, I answered the question at the press conference, public opinion went down. So, you know, I have to be more careful with a governor like that, that I don't do anything to hurt public opinion when I'm working the press conference. Uh, so pay attention to that. And the other thing is, is you want to look at fan interest overall. Here are the Bucks. Are, fan interest is 90.8%. Um, so they got a huge amount of fan interest in Milwaukee. And, you know, some teams uh, don't. So you may have to make that more of a priority in managing your franchise. The next thing uh, is the level of involvement. Higher rating means the guy's going to be involved more. So Philip Turner here, he's probably going to be involved a lot more than somebody with a one-star rating, which means you're probably going to have more interactions with this type of governor with him kind of micromanaging you and checking in on you. So, you know, if you don't want that kind of governor, then you might want to choose a different team or do something else. I'll show you in just a second how to do. Next is importance of franchise morale. Some governors want the organization to, you know, have a good uh, self uh uh, image, I guess, for lack of a better word. They want everybody to feel good about being part of the franchise. And so you're going to want to pay attention to your relationships more carefully with this kind of governor and the overall uh, morale. Now, mood is morale. So I don't know why they don't put morale there and they put mood. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're looking at 
uh, this kind of governor, pay attention to the relationships, work with, you know, you probably have to do a lot more chit chatting, which a lot of people don't like. Then the last one here is level of patience. So here this governor has a five star level of patience, which means he's extremely patient. He'll probably get you make some mistakes and learn from them where somebody with a one star level of patience probably won't tolerate that. Like this Philip Turner guy, he might be a little bit more, more harder to work with and won't allow you to make as many mistakes as somebody like the Bucks owner would. So uh, level of patience, uh, important in terms of maybe whether you get to keep your job as the GM. So those are some of uh, the things that, to look for on the governor preferences. Now, the nice thing about these governors is that while the stock uh, governor preferences come uh, preloaded by each team, you're not stuck with those. So if you're if you want a little bit different type of governor personality, you can change it by randomizing the governor's personality. Uh, and then that way you can kind of either make it easier or harder. These uh, preferences aren't, you know, just one and that's it. You might have competing things you kind of have to figure out. And so obviously if more things are important to a governor, that governor is going to be a little bit harder to work with. The next thing I wanted to point out is these ratings over here, 80, 81, and 79. I kind of used to think when I first started looking at these that that was the rating of the governor. But it's actually the rating of the roster's offense, defense, and overall. This is the strength of the roster and not the strength of the governor. The governors aren't ranked. Uh, the next thing is, is that each uh, team has a, a total budget. So here you can see this uh, team has a total budget of $145.5 million where uh, other teams have higher budgets. And I'm gonna show you each one. There's about seven uh, to eight different budget amounts. And obviously, you know, the more money you got to work with, the easier it's gonna be to, you know, uh, do the things you wanna do as a GM. So some uh, teams don't have as high of budgets as other. Now, I used to think that uh, all the small market teams had the same low budget medium market teams had a different budget and then large had you know the largest budgets but it doesn't actually work that way you can have a large market with a lower budget than another smaller market or medium market team which i thought was interesting so anyway it's something that you want to just be aware of that you know these budgets will come into play when you're working uh, on the financial side of your team now i wish while we're waiting on these budgets to kind of go by, they'll show a couple more here. I think it goes up to 236.50. That in addition to changing the preferences of the governor, that we could change the governor's names and put our own governors in there. Uh, and I can't tell you for sure whether the governors change or not uh, during the course of a MyGM. I haven't played out that far to ever know. So if you know in the comments whether that's the case, if GMs do change over time, I know they did in the story mode in 2019, I think. But anyway, uh, if you've seen that happen, uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you have experienced. So anyway, that's the highest budget right there, 236 and a half uh, million. And so that's kind of the wrap up on the budget. Now, if you flip the governor profile screen, you'll see the roster here. You're going to want to pay attention to fan interest when you first start out. So fan interest for the Cavs here, rock bottom, lowest in the league, 33%. And that means if you've got a governor that's interested in, you know, the public opinion of the team, well, you got your job cut out for you there. Where like the Clippers here, fan interest is at the, you know, one of the highest, 95%. So, you know, you're already kind of in good shape when you start this uh, MyGM if your governor is worried about what the public perception of the team is. The other thing is, is each uh, team is classified as either small medium or a large market. And this will come into play when you're trying to attract free agents. Uh, obviously it may come into play with your budgets. And if you're playing a MyGM file, you know, like here the heat says they're medium market, but they don't have any trouble attracting free agents. So it's not a, you know, just large market gets free agents and smaller mediums down. And you probably, you know, probably want to use some, own, you know, your own realistic expectations when you're playing your MyGM to kind of follow along with whatever market is that you market that you choose, you know, whatever team you choose their market and what you feel like they could attract free agents or not when you're trying to manage your own trades. Uh, so some things that you do in your, your MyGM, you kind of have to think for yourself 
and decide, oh, okay, well, does this make sense? Is this realistic? And sometimes you may not even care, and that's okay too. All right, so those are some things that I thought were important about the My Governor Profile screen. Let me know what you guys think about the Governor Profiles. Uh, do you pay attention to them? Uh, I figure a lot of people don't even care. But, you know, I think if we're going to do a guide on my GM here, we kind of need to talk about everything so that uh, you guys have a good feel for how all of this works. All right. Well, I am Coach 2K. I will see you on the court in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.